I first started thinking about who my soulmate was, I made a list over and over. These were the items I would write. He likes to travel and road trip with me. He likes to ski. He has a beard and touches my face when we kiss with it. He loves the mountains. He doesn't mind cooking the meat. He laughs, big belly laughs with me. He is intelligent. He loves music. Then, around five years ago, I added the most telling item. When I closed my eyes and felt my soulmate, the thing that would really let me know that it was you. Your eyes would be kind, gentle, and soft. They would turn down a little at the edges from laughing. We could be in a crowded room and everybody could be talking. And you'd just look at me with those gentle, smiling eyes and everything in the world would feel right. So on I went with this very specific feeling of you. And so many times I questioned whether the idea I felt in my soul was real. If the thing I felt so strongly even existed at all. Then I met you that day in Colorado Springs. Immediately I could see that all along I'd been closing my eyes and feeling this. It was so clear and it was so easy. Like the doubts I had had about finding you never existed in the first place. I saw you from across the street in old Colorado City next to Mother Muffs on an early spring night before our first date and even though I already had planned to say this, regardless of what I saw, I uttered, you're even more beautiful in person. <laughs> Except I didn't have to try and say it, it fell out of my mouth. You were absolutely stunning. From across the street, after an extended pause, the light turned green. I walked across the street and got to hug you for the first time. What happened over the next few weeks was something I'd never experienced. You rather quickly became a fiber and the fabric of my life. In our short time together, we've been to Colombia, the south side of the Caribbean, the Great Wall of China, North Thailand jungle, as well as countless adventures at home and in the mountains. And now here we are on this beautiful island, literally in the middle of the Atlantic. like that view of the ocean. We have this phrase, you and me. No matter what happens in our lives, we will take it on together. You and me.
pictured that maybe finding you would feel like fireworks, but that's not it at all. Our love isn't something that explodes and then fizzles. Instead, our love feels like coming home at the end of a long day. It is a light that, since being kindled, has burned with a steady flame. Maybe not always dazzling and showy to the untrained eye, but the kind of lantern that lights stark corners and warms us on chilly nights. I promise to always look into your eyes and recognize my soulmate, the man I wrote about since I was a teenager. Today and every day, I choose you, Justin. Even though it seems like in this moment, I couldn't possibly love you more. I know that with every day, somehow I will. From now and forever, it's you and me, babe.